hello friends welcome to code crush coding in the previous video we have learnt about how to create a database using the python application in this video we will try to create a table and insert a record into that particular table using the python application in the previous video we have created a database mydb so this was the database that we have created and we need to insert or we need to create a table inside this database and also insert the record into that particular table before that for a quick revision to connect our python application to database we need to follow the four step first one is import mysql dot connector module so we have imported mysql dot connector module after that create the connection object so here we have created the connection object with the help of connect method all those details were covered in the previous video i will provide the link in the description you can go through that video after that once we have created this connection we need to store it inside some variable and with the help of that particular connection variable we need to make use of cursor method and store it inside a variable cursor and the last step was to execute the query so let's start with creating the table inside this database and i have told you in the previous video we can add one more detail inside this connect method that is database and provide the name of database that we are going to use so we have created the mydb database so we need to create a table inside that particular database so we have provided here the detail that we need to use this particular database mydb now let's create a table inside this database mydb so let's execute the query so how to execute a query provide cursor dot execute and now we need to execute a query to create a table so how to write the sql query to create a table you need to say create then table then provide the table name let's say table name is student student and inside this student we will have two columns name and roll number so let's say name is the first column and data type for it is varchar and let's say length is 20 so maximum length available for name will be 20 and the second column we will have roll number roll number and it will be of type integer data type so this is how we created the SQL query here. Now let's execute this code. Let's see whether this particular table is added in our database or not. So let's execute the query run. So as we are not getting any error here, process finish with exit code zero. Let's check in our database MySQL workbench whether the table is created. Before that, let's say we say here show databases so our mydb should be created now because in the previous video we have created that so here you can see mydb now here you can say use mydb use mydb execute that query once you have executed use mydb then you can use the query show tables to see what tables are created inside that particular database show tables so see student database is created that we have created now also in the application you can write that particular query to see whether that table is created or not instead as we have seen a blank so what we can do we can execute another query cursor dot execute in similar way that we have used in mysql workbench that was show tables show tables so as we have while establishing the connection we have used the database mydb so from that database only the tables will be shown and we know how to print it we need to have the for loop some variable for x in cursor then we will print x print x let's save this and run now so here we are getting error what error we are getting here we are getting the error table student already exists because earlier we have created and now we are running again the code and we are saying to create this table statement we need to remove this because the table is already created now so let's save it and run now so see we are able to get this particular data student so student table only a single table is available in this particular database mydb now what we will do we will try to insert the data into a student table because there is 
nothing inside the student table now let me show you inside the sql workbench also so we need to make use of select to cd data in the table select star in student from select star from student let's execute this query so see the columns are available here name and roll number but there is no data because we haven't inserted anything yet so to insert into a table we need to make use of insert into query let me show you how we can do this so these three steps are same like importing the sql connector then establishing the connection creating the cursor object now our execute query will be different let me remove this part and here before executing the query you need to create one string you can provide any name here i will provide sql and here you need to create the sql query insert into table name so table name is student insert into student values so the first column is the roll uh, sorry first column is our name and the second column is roll number but here you need to provide some placeholders so with the help of percent as symbol we are providing here the placeholder that will be placing our values for roll number and name once you have executed this providing the statement we need to provide the values for these placeholders so how to provide the values you can have the variable name any here i will provide here value and here in the form of a tuple you need to provide the values so the first one is the name so i will say your name let's say john is the name and let's provide the roll number so roll number is of integer types so we need to provide the value here not in the uh, inverted commas right so roll number is 10 and value is john now we will execute this query so we know how to execute the query with the help of cursor object dot execute and now earlier we were directly providing the query inside this method but this time we have created one string which is our sql query and there are some placeholders to store the exact value and here we have provided the value so these two particular variables we need to pass to this execute method so let's pass it sql comma value so this execute method will internally insert our data which is john and 10 into the table student so once it is executed let's save it and run our code now so see here we are not getting any error it means our data should be stored right so let's check in database whether our data is inserted into table execute the query again but still we are getting here blank why we are getting here blank because we have created this table now we are doing some modification inside this table so you need to provide one more statement here after executing that particular query so the statement is whatever connection we connection object we have so the connection object is mycon so you need to say for this connection mycon dot commit so commit is the method that you need to provide once you provide this commit method then only that particular data will be stored in your table now let's save this and run now so see there is no error now let's check in the database whether our data is added execute the query so see this time the data is added name is john and roll number is 10 so always remember that you need to provide this additional statement here mycon.commit to save your changes now what we have done we have checked in the database you can also provide here a print statement print and you can say here record inserted id you can also have the id for the record inserted for this you need to make use of cursor object cursor dot last row id this will print the id for your record inserted now we have already uh, inserted john and 10 now let's change the value to some another name let's say tom and roll number is 20 this time let's save it and run now so here we are inserting only the first record that's that's why we are getting here zero 
ID but our record is inserted we can check in the table here let me show you in the SQL workbench execute the query so see Tom and 20 is also inserted another way you can do here instead of using this last row ID you can also make use of row count so that will show how many records are inserted let's change the value here let's say Sam and roll number is 30 save it and run now so see record inserted so number of record we have inserted is only one because only we have inserted this particular value Sam and 30 now what we can do we can also insert multiple records so how to do that our statement will be same insert into student and here you need to provide square brackets around this particular value let's provide that and inside these square brackets you need to separate the different values let's say first one was Sam and 30 after that you will provide another value here so that will be separated by the round brackets and if you have multiple values then it will be separated by comma then again the round brackets now this time we will add three records in a single go so let's add that let's say name is ABC then roll number is 40 after that another record let's say XYZ then roll number 50 and here instead of this method cursor dot execute you need to change it to execute many let me show you that so cursor dot execute many and here you need to say provide the same values which is our SQL that is our string for inserting the data and then the value this time the value don't have a single value like the single rounded brackets it has multiple values and all these three records will be added now and it will be shown here inside the row count which will be three now because three records are inserted let me save this and run now so see record inserted and here we have three count because we have inserted three records also what we can do here so we have seen how to insert the record now what we will do we will see what is the uh, available data in the table inside the SQL workbench let me show you now so see this much data is added in our database table so that's it in this video we will cover another topics of the database connection in next video thank you for watching